All right, I just figured I'd uh, create a quick video shows you how to use uh, Gmail for your business email. And uh, it's really just an explanation of how it works. Uh, the setup, uh, most of the time, your web developer will do it for you. I may create another video depending on uh, how much people are interested in it. Then I could create another video that shows you how to do it. It's not hard to set up. But what I want to do is show you uh, the different ways that it works real quick uh, and the different parameters that you may want to change. So we're going to go into settings, click on the gear and then settings, and then we're going to click on the accounts and import. And now you'll have it set up. If you've had it set up for you, you're going to have it set up so that you have uh, emails that you get email addresses or an email address more commonly that you receive email from. And that's check mail from accounts using pop three and ones that you can send from. Uh, like this and specifically what I wanted to get into is how The receiving email is pretty easy. It just comes into your inbox. So there's not a lot to do about that I will note that usually when I configure it, I'll set it up so that it uh, There's an option to label it So it will have a label of the email address so that in your labels on the left side you can uh, select just the email from that account uh, but that's a side note. The send mail is the part where people get confused. Um, and there are three different ways you can configure this. I mean, technically it's a little more than that, but really three ways that you'd want to configure it. Uh, first, the first way is you can have it set up so that uh, you leave Gmail as your default email address. And you can see that the send mail, the, the Gmail account will always be in there. And so you can use by default, or then the Gmail account is always going to be the default email address, obviously. Um, and then the second thing you can do is um, down here it says re when replying to message, reply from same address the address was sent from, uh, sent to, the message was sent to. So in other words, if someone sends you an email to your business account, like if someone sends me an email to JFM at more business today, then if I set it to reply from the same address that was sent from, when I hit reply, then it will uh, come back from me at JFM at more business today dot com. So that's the first level of like uh, branding or whatever. The the top level is you make your company email address your primary email your default email so you can hit make default and then you choose always reply from uh, default address now every time i reply even if someone sends me an email to um, my gmail account no matter where i reply uh, i hit reply from it's always going to reply from my um, More Business Today account. And I could also, of course, have this. If you have multiple accounts, if you have a lot of different accounts, and you always want it to reply back from the, the proper account, then you want to do that. And uh, really, the only time you'd use the reply default you know, always reply from, as, uh, from default is if you were uh, only using Gmail as your meal as your email program if you're using Outlook or your phone separately or something like that then you don't want to have it always replying from the same default email address because it'll get confusing with those other accounts and then uh, um, one last thing so no matter how you have this configured um, when you send when you send an email we hit compose it's always going to have the default email so i just set the default back to my gmail account so it's going to start with the default email but it'll have a drop down and then you can select any of them and that's true i believe even if you're uh, even if you have it set to you know reply uh 
from a certain address um, then you can go in and effect change on that I believe um, I have to turn off my split makes it hard to do it with the video reply this is just a marketing email well I take it back if you reply if you don't have your reply set back it looks like you can't uh, um, adjust who it comes from so that's something to consider uh, whether you have it set to always reply from um, uh, you know the default email address or whatever so but when you're composing you can always hit down and select the email address you're composing from what we're talking about in the settings is just setting up what happens automatically without you trying to do it so if you set your default email address to your company email address then that's the first thing that'll come in you don't have to remember to change it uh, if you hit the reply always replies from the default then it'll always reply from that default account uh, so hopefully that helps clear things up on that uh, let me know if you have any questions Thanks.